had their own, and of course they gave me a little money out of that uh, for for being an employee there and switching in the yard there, handling that has this material and oh. stuff that came out of it. Because see, we had to pull that stuff out of there. And our tracks was right there beside that plant. So all of us was uh, uh, had been uh, contaminated with it because we were all uh, working there. Did you experience any health? Uh, uh, I have not at this no. time. I have not, no. Uh, one thing, I, I commerce is, uh, I've, I've never actually drank the water that came through the pipes here in Commerce. Uh, I would either buy my water for myself in my household, uh, uh, I would just bathe in it, you know, and we didn't, we actually, we didn't uh, cook with it. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you turn your, fire, your, 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 your faucet on there at the house, and it was some. It would look kind of like a dark, rusty-looking uh, water that uh, would come out of there. It wouldn't be clear water at all. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, I have bought these uh, faucet-type deals that you could backwash after a while that uh, would, would purify your water. Yeah, because I bought one back during the time there. I, I don't. I don't recall the name of it. But anyway, it was so good until you could just take a beer, pour it through, the, through it, and when it come out, it was plain water with no beer taste, nothing to it. <laughs> wow. So it was a, that was a, a, I thought that was a good, a good purifier, you know, a good cleaner. <laughs> That's interesting. But, uh, and I, and I, I, I come to know, uh, I don't really, uh, how I was, I, I read something about it somewhere or something, but anyway, uh, Water is water. You can't change it. You, you, you can uh, uh, change the taste of it, the color of it, but uh, you can't destroy it. And uh, I don't know where I found that, but anyway, if you could destroy one molecule of water, well, you could destroy, uh, cause a chain reaction, destroy this world that we live in. Because uh, uh, that's what's tumbling around this room that we can't see various types of molecules uh, mm -hmm. and, 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 and stuff. And the same in, with your body. Uh, you know, we don't, we feel and we understand the fact that blood's red. But uh, as far as knowing that, I don't think we know any no color. You know, we just, just what we're taught. That's the way I, uh, that's the way I understand it, you know. What was the mood of the community in, in, uh, about this contamination? Was there fear, uh, concern, indifference when, when it became known that there had been arsenic spread all over the, the area? Well now, uh, that's a good question, but the only way I could answer that is the way the people in the community responded to my knowledge. They, uh, they weren't actually afraid, or didn't actually fear it, because at the meetings it was held, uh, mostly all of the people would try and, and tell you some kind of a way that they could clean it up or do away with it, uh, but they didn't want to talk, relocate the people. Mm -hmm. And some of the people there, uh, I thought was a kind of a silly thing to do. I love my home. I want to live here in my. I want to stay here. I said, now that's fine for a saying, but when it comes to uh, actually responding or doing what you get out of there, they're going to replace your place and build it better than where you are. And you don't want to endanger your life, the life of your children. You can't grow anything there. We can't grow no garden in the, in the Norris community now, unless we bring in dirt from someplace else and put a uh, some something up underneath there and build your crate around it, and, and, and because the soil is contaminated, mm. and that fruit that grow there, how's it gonna not be contaminated? Mm. <laughs> That's why I never could figure it out. 
So that's the feeling that, and I, that there has there's conversation about a community garden uh, 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 plot there, but it's it's not going to happen, or it couldn't happen in the Norris community. You think? Uh, unless they unless they they did a whole lot of preparing. Mm -hmm. Now they could put a some kind of a sheets or something on the area they're going to use, bring new dirt in from way someplace else, and just have it there. But as far as turning the soil, tilting the soil there, and planting out of, uh, uh, no. So it's not just the soil under and around the factory, but it's everything that was hit by that ash every morning. I, that's what I believe, and that's what the EPA said at first when they came around and checked it out. And the people that held on to their receipts, they had to pay them, regardless of where they live within the perimeter that they uh, that they, they set up, that they reset up, saying that that was the limitations of it. Then they come up with some kind of an idea about uh, parts per million of the contamination. Well, now, I, I never was able to figure that, that stuff out, what they, how they managed to come down to that. But anyway, they had it to where it was no more than uh, cigarette ashes when they finally and that was, I said that that was an excuse, and I told, at the meetings, I told it openly. I said, I think that's just an excuse to keep you from living, uh, from moving from where you live and relocating you because they feel that it costs too much money to relocate you. I said, they just want to come up with a pacifier for you. I said, those of you that are, are willing to take that pacifier, you're going to uh, cause all of us to have to do that. I said, but I don't agree with it because I don't think they can take uh, two, two feet or four feet. I think it was four feet. No, it was not, not four feet. It was two inches or four inches. Four inches of dirt off the ground. That was supposed to clean up all the contamination. Mm -hmm. And I told them right then, I said, someone will make money out of it. I said, but they're not going to clean up the contamination. Of course now, you know, we've had houses to be uh, be moved uh, from down here and you had new houses to be built. I said, those houses that were built, they were built over that same contaminated soil. I said, now how are you going to go under the house and dig that mm -hmm. up from there too? I said, I don't think you'd be able to do it. I said, I, I, I said they'll make money. Why not if the, if the soil, is con soil is contaminated, move you, move the people. Move them out, put them in a new area, clean area, the way that they can do it and, and grow their children and so on. And uh, since that date, it's been a whole lot of unusual death in the community. And I'm talking about people a whole lot younger than I am uh, 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 have, have passed and gone on. And my wife, my first wife, uh, the one, uh, my, Lena's, uh, my my daughter's, uh, and my son's mama. Uh, she passed away because she had a. Uh, oh shoot, she 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 accumulated. She was kind of ill. Uh, because she used to wade and swim and go on in that. They had a little old pond right down, not right, right off from where they had this. Factory at they used to swim in that in that little old stream there and all of the uh, the people back during her time there most of them are dead yeah and they died from near about the same thing uh, they, uh, because it was a whole list of of uh, different diseases that would come from that contamination that that stuff would put out and they just ignored it you know. They, they ignored it, and, 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 and uh, I, I say that the EPA lied to the people down there because of a, some sort of a big money issue that, you know, kind of like our congressman thing, you know, they take money from lobbyists and they take money from us. Mm 